Hi and welcome back to Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. That's me. Today I want to focus on maintaining the cheap JL Wrangler from 2020, minus an unlimited sport with an automatic transmission. And today I want to just talk about and show you how to do a transmission fluid change. Is it recommended by cheap? No, because they say it's a lifetime um, fluid, so you don't have to do any maintenance on it, which I don't know, I, I, I don't feel really comfortable not doing a transmission fluid change, so that's what we're doing in this video. To give you a little bit more background, there's probably one really good video out there, which is linked up there. Um, thanks for this one, and I was also using it as a reference as well, uh, but I was also talking to other people and trying to figure out, hey, do I need a transmission fluid change or not? And since this seems to be a thing, I definitely want to do it just to, you know, have the best possible outcome at the end hopefully and also to keep my Jeep as long as possible alive. So this video will today purely focus on first of the parts what we need. Don't even see that first of the parts what we need, second of how to do a change. I'll try to record everything and add some comments where possible and at the end we'll also do some procedure to basically um, the fluid is circulating correctly. And therefore I'll show you the parts what I got. Um, we'll put all the links in the description. This is the filter we'll need. It's a very neat and small little filter. It does come with two nuts. This is an original Mopar part, even though it says filtering on it. I don't know if you can see it really. And then we have the transmission oil pan gasket. I was a little bit confused when I got it. Um, I did already try and see if it does fit. And uh, it just, the name is just oil pan gasket, so I was a little concerned, but uh, it looks like it fits. I'll show you later. The part number is also in the description below. And then we have the 8 and 9 speed ATF. That's what Mopar recommends, and that's what I want to go with. Here in particular, I have six quarts. Um, I bought a package. They are pretty expensive, my friends, but is it worth it? I think it is. Wish you could go with one of those hand pumps if you want to. I got a different pump for me just to make it easier for five to six quarts to pump in. It's a little, you know, a lot of work. It will work. We'll give it a try, I never used it. We'll see how it works. And other than that, we'll, need, we'll just need, as uh, Chris Fix used to say, just common hand tools. First step we have to do, lift the car, car and then take off the skid plate, which has three bolts and nuts attached um, to the car frame. And then we have access to the transmission oil pan and I'll show you everything.
pan. You move the gasket. Those should be the magnets. This is the filter. I want to get the filter out with 10 millimeter here. Even less than 10 newton meter, but in the instructions they say it should be snug and then half turn back. Losing it, so it must be less than 10 newton meter, less than 25 inch pound, I guess. And we can see it in the hole, it's very hard to see here. Looks dirty, to be honest. And that could be worse, I guess. Looks okay. Not as bad as I thought. But here in the magnets, we can see there's the pre on it. Also here in the pan, the magnet out. Right, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of debris in there. Magnet too. Looks the same. Stuff on it. A little material, little shavings. Nothing big so far. See and hope that the new gasket fits. That's supposed to be the new gasket. Looks like it goes all the way in place. Try to take out the old one. Ideally, you have a plastic scrape or something to pry it out. Try to just get my finger underneath so that I don't scratch anything. And there it is. Nice. So apparently, the old gasket is sold, it's replaced with this new other gasket, which we'll show you in a second. I like to use this stuff. Don't know if you see it. Got the magnets put back bag in place, clean them, all the shavings on it, and bag in place. Pretty hard to get all the shavings off, but it works. It's on it. Go in place like we took them off. Now we'll use the new screws we have. Per instruction, we need to and tighten up when they're snug, loosen half turn. This gasket comes with a couple of noses. That's important that they line up. Before we can install them, we need to go into the car and clean the surface for the gasket as well.
So I'll be doing the lazy one. I will refill five quarts in this pneumatic pressure kit. That stuff smells interesting. The color is green. That's how it will work later. We get pressure in here and fill the pressure when I open this valve here, push it down and then spilling pressure in here, pushing everything out here and then I can open this valve. All right, friends, I think I'm done. I cycled it two times, or even three times, because I messed up. I opened the screw and then I pulled it back on because I stopped the engine because I thought, oh, I have to change the fluid. But I needed a little bit more than five quarts, very important. Now I just have to put on the skip bar, skip plate, three screws, um, torque here, and that's about it. It's a mess here in the garage, so I have to clean up everything, but I'm done with it, transmission fluid, change, check. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.